Okay, well, uh, good evening and welcome back. I am Grizzly. Uh, you know, I just finished uh, playing some Stardew Valley with Henry earlier. And, uh, that was great. Got some exercise in, and you know what? I realized I really wanted to end the day by getting another session of Pokemon Sword in. So here we are. <clears throat> uh, I've made it to, oh, what is the name of this town? Stow on side. Stone side. Uh, and I've done some leveling up. As we saw yesterday, the squad mostly uh, is in the, uh, you know, across the 30s level range. And I went running all over the wild area, earning watts so I could get one more. Uh, it, it turns out that this is, is not a TM. <clears throat> this TR is a one-use item. Um, I looked for Surf and I couldn't find it. Annoyed the pants. Uh, annoyed, the, <laughs> annoyed the pants and the crap right out of me. Right out and off of me. Uh, and nobody, because nobody can learn it. Uh, that was a 5,000 watt cost. But I found the TM for Venoshock. Or Venoshock. And so I immediately gave that to Toxicity. So he has an actually good uh, poison move to use against Opal. So, with all that in mind, <clears throat> Riz, I'm still not too sure what I should do about all that stuff I told you before, about me being weak and dragging down Lee's good name and all, yeah? But the only thing I can do is get stronger, right? So I'm going to try out all kinds of different things against you and see what works. Okay, you're on. A banala battle with my true rival will help me get my head on straight. He has no idea. <clears throat> but he does have good training music. Or I should say battle music. I've said that before. Grammaring? What in tarnation is this thing? All I'm after is victory, and I'm counting on you to help me grab it. Alright, let's spirit shackle this weirdo. <clears throat> One shotted. All right. Very good. He's gonna send out Thwacky. I'll switch out. I just don't know what. Thwacky. Sounds fightish. Uh. I don't know. Let's try Dragonair. Let's see where that gets us. Oh, oh, Thwacky is the grass type. Okay, well, let's paralyze him. <clears throat> Respectable hit. Let's use Brutal Swing. That wasn't that brutal. Have a taste of our true power. Our green power just keeps on growing stronger. Okay. And try Razor Leaf. Nah, that didn't do much. Let's try Dragon Tail. This should knock him out of battle and we'll fight someone else. Oh, he's also raising a Toxel. Okay. Now yeah, let's brutal swing that little. Yeah, this thing doesn't have a def defense for the life of it. <clears throat> Interesting that he also has a Toxicity. But ah, curse that static. Well, it beats poison, I guess. Um. Huh? 
Uh, bring out Dewblade. A ground type, so it should aerial ace should be pretty good. Okay, respectable. Oh, glare, I think, is a paralysis maneuver. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's do iron head, see what happens. Oh, okay. Well, I'm levitating, so dig shouldn't hurt. Uh, emphasis on the word shouldn't. Use a paralyzed heal on double eight. Ah, oh, really? I'm floating. But levitate? I suppose if I don't have levitate as a maneuver, then that doesn't count. Okay, let's try Iron Head. <clears throat> That'll work. Okay. You know, let's bring out Toxitricity. Why not? Let's mix it up a little bit. I don't know what I can do to try to win now, but all I can do is try. There's nothing else for it. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> Let's use Venom Shock. Who wouldn't name for a super effective hit if they had the chance, right? That's, yeah, always. I mean... <laughs> Do, 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 do. Okay. Cinderace. Leveling up. Very good. My strategy goes right to pot when I've got all these bad thoughts running through my head. Yeah, dude, you gotta work on your negativity. You gotta be. You know, change your thinking. <clears throat> Turn it around. Tried switching my team members in and out to max out their potential in every matchup, but I just couldn't get it together somehow. Maybe that's why I'm still so weak. Lee really is the greatest trainer, and I don't want people to be laughing at him all because his little brother is rubbish. It's not enough. I gotta try harder, and harder, and harder till no one's laughing. I'm off, mate. Off to find the kind of Pokemon that I can really draw the strength out of. <clears throat> that poor kid has no idea how I'm going to destroy him. That child. Gym challengers should paddle for the sake of their own Pokemon. Why worry about saving the champion's name? We all know he's unbeatable. <laughs> so cocky. Anyway, here's something for letting me watch your battle. Bee's lead card. Okay. Now on you go, child. You're headed to the stone side gym next, no? Gym challenge is about having fun. Huh. Interesting character. Well, let's climb the ladder here. There's a goodie hiding somewhere back here. There is. <coughs> you found a cracked pot. It may make a certain species of Pokemon evolve. It may be cracked, but tea poured from it is delicious. How does this tea stay in? I only have more questions. Some Pokemon live in the mountains. Some Pokemon live in the forests. So many different species. Okay, so that's obviously a way out. Forest. Speed this along. I want to show the stone side ruins to McDiglett. Who knows? Maybe it'll awaken some latent artistic talent, right? Let's check out what's up here. Place the Regan Dynamax or Pokemon are known as power spots. The gym stadiums of the Galar region are built on these powers. Quite an impressive gym stadium. Right? The ocean, huh? Not a mountain, huh? 
we got whatever this is. It's Stoneside's famous mural. It's said to be a very deep work of art. I wonder if there's a legendary hiding behind that. The answer is probably yes. Okay. So like I said, I'm mainly doing this session because I did, you know, a whole bunch of stuff in the wild area and I knew I was close to this uh, gym. So I'm mainly doing this because I want to get to the gym <clears throat> and beat it. So. Hey there, thanks for rolling by to have a chat with your mate, the ball guy. Bag on your back is looking pretty heavy. Speaking of heavy, let me give you this very special Pokeball. A heavy ball? Better than usual at catching very heavy Pokemon. Ooh, okay. Pokeballs are indeed full of surprises. Many challengers have already given up their gym challenges, but you and your Pokemon have been hanging in there. I mean, that's the intention. I'm doing my gym challenge while I'm raising my Pokemon, but I may have to change my team members. You've come all the way to Stone Side, so be sure to win. Oh yeah. Okay, well. Let me check the stats of my mons. Uh, yeah. Leon's so upset he couldn't bother to help heal my Pokemon. So I gotta go all the way over here. Which is fine. <clears throat> All right, my boys are ready. Oh, you know what else is ready? You know, what? let's let's get this taken care of. Um, my jobs are done. Let's get everybody back for these. Yeah, they all did a good job. Very good. Someone did an exceptional job. Okay. Oh my. Girl, I have something to give you. You received one water stone. All right. <coughs> well, here's hoping the dragon types did something. Exceptional job. All right. Zwellius has something to give you. $600. Well, $6. Okay, now who's coming out? Uh, the ground types. Let's see what this is about. Exceptional job. Great. Glad to see it. Right on, it will give me two heal balls. Okay, cool. There will be more jobs available to you from now on. All right. And let's take care of this one, too. <clears throat> okay. Exceptional job. Sweet. Look at all those sweet experience points. Erder has something to give me. $900. All right. Dangerous chemicals. We would like poison type Pokemon to help us prepare prescriptions. Poison type Pokemon to help us prepare prescriptions. You got it. Okay. Uh, so I can do up to six poison types. So we're going to send wheezing. And gold bat. <clears throat> We're selling for the whole day. They're all poison types, so it should work. Boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. Okay. Then customer acquisition. That are cute and charming to come over to help attract customers. Uh, cute and charming. Okay, well, we'll send Jigglypuff, because Jigglypuff is cute. Um, who else is cute? 
This is a subjective question. This is so subjective. Honestly. Cute Pokemon? It could be anyone. I could arguably say any of them. Oh, Mime Jr. is cute. Uh, Solosis is cute. See, I'm going to say any of them are cute. <clears throat> Ooh, that is cute. And Swirlix. I wonder if this just means all theory types. Cute and charming. I don't know what they, what they mean. <clears throat> so we'll hope for the best. Alright. Uh, rock type Pokemon. Okay. Let's see who we can do for that. One. I already see Onyx. That's a yeah, Manti. Yes. Uh, Rhyhorn. Absolutely. Aerodactyl. And let's grab that Onyx. Okay. All day. And then what's the last job? Help on the farm. Grass type Pokemon. Do you have any like pure grass types? Oh my god. Perfect job. I'm going to send an army of Rosalias. <clears throat> I knew I'd be able to find some use for them. Okay, now let's take care of the gym challenge. So, uh, you know, honestly, so far, after getting through the first hour and a half of this game, um, I've been enjoying it. You know, once the, once the gym challenge starts, the rate at which you um, expand, the, the rate at which you level up is much better. And there's opportunities for you to utilize things like why uh the wild area to take care of leveling for you honestly pretty great um, i'm digging the ui for this game uh, you know the first like i said the first couple of sessions were pain but now, now i'm in the groove of it and it's pretty fine <clears throat> so i'm gonna see it through to the end and I'm going to kick Leon's ass. It's going to be easy. So I'm bringing in my... I'm bringing in the squad. As soon as I can control the squad squad. I have a squad for every game. I had a squad for Omega Ruby. Squad for X. Squad for Ultra Moon. Squad for Let's Go Eevee. And now squad for... Sword and Shield. <clears throat> Complete the mission. You'll need to ride in one of these cups to make your way to the goal while trying to avoid obstacles. Excuse me. All right. Let me tell you a bit more about how to operate this fun attraction. Rotate your control stick to the right, and the cup will start to spin to the right. Rotate the left to make the cup spin left. You hit the wall, rotate the stick as quick as you can to get yourself out of that sticky situation. Have a good time watching the world spin as you try to reach the goal. What in tarnation? All right. That's one down. It's interesting. And then we do a trainer battle. You sure you can battle in that condition? Oh god, I hope so. <clears throat> Ian sends forth. Stuff. Oh, this thing. Alright, Toxitricity. 
It's time to sweep this group. Oh, he's got 10 Vino Shocks. All right, well. Takedown. That's a, that's a hell of a takedown. You spark. Okay. Kind of expecting Vino Shock would one hit. Beware. Okay. Uh, let's do Cinderace. Yeah. It's time he make his debut. Yeah. <clears throat> Here I thought it'd be another fire fighting type. It's just a pure fire. Okay. Let's do uh, double kick. Okay. Fighting types against fairies. That's good. So my crow gunk would have been great against these guys. A little painful. Nothing another double kick can't do. All right. Wow, that was a, not a lot of EXP. That's low. Oh my god. Dragonair wants to learn Aqua Tail. Okay. Let's see, look here. Aqua Tail. Swing his tail as if it were a vicious wave and a raging storm. Uh, let's get rid of Slam. <clears throat> not ready to get rid of Thunder Wave just yet. Aqua Tail is useful. I'm dizzy. No, I'm completely dazzled. He's dizzy dazzled. Duck dim a dome. Duck dazzle dome. Let's hop in the next pod. Interesting challenge. Okay, next. Our gym mission is like a theme park attraction. What do you think? You know, it's not terrible. It's not a puzzle. It's just uh, some kind of platforming. <clears throat> oh, yes. Be far fetched to the judges. Alright, let's spark them. Light them up. Isn't super effective? What in tarnation? Okay, do spark again. Of course he avoided. <clears throat> Try and nuzzle him. Are you serious? You're gonna hit this. Not gonna hit this. Toxicity, you're uh, you're letting me down. One sand attack and you missed three times. All right, you swift. That never misses. That's right. Sucks to be you, far fetched. <clears throat> All right. That's another battle. Uh, let's, rev let's revive Toxitricity. He's doing his best, but I'm not really sure what more I can do.
<laughs> guess that counts as a win. All right. I think this is the last trainer. Our job is to defeat all the reckless gym challengers. I thought you were meant to just defeat all the gym challengers. Isn't that the job? Okay. Uh, Hitman Lee. Interesting. <clears throat> well, let's do Spark. Not very effective. Cool. All right, Spark him again. Is this a fighting type chip? I'm really not sure what to make of this place. Hitman Chan. Okay. Oh, Hitman Chan can throw just about any kind of punch. I'm gonna use Toxic. I just get the feeling that's a that's the wise move here. Spark. <clears throat> right. Yeah, we're just going to heal. Unless he uses a full heal, that toxic's going to knock him out eventually. I think I got a water in here somewhere. No? Peter Crunchies? Let's give some chocolate to Toxicus. Spam and mock punch. Ain't gonna do anything, bud. And now you're done. He was once a gym challenger. I think that's it. Maybe I'll be facing Opal next. Do I have any HP? Okay, well, that counts. Number four. Let's go. So I guess Opal's a fighting type? Gym leader? Fairies wouldn't have that fist like that. Oh. This isn't Opal's gym. Who's this lady? Oh, she's B. The one on the lead card that I didn't check. Welcome, gym challenger. I'm B. Do you have an unshakable spirit that won't be moved? No matter how you were attacked, I think I'll just test that out, shall I? All right. Gym Leader B, how many Pokemon do you have? Four. Okay. Hitman Top. Interesting.
All right, no hesitation. Huh, kind of surprised at how much damage that did. Ba -dum -ba -bum. Do do do. Spark. Okay. Respectable. That revenge move does a lot. Okay. Now I know as a gym leader she's gonna definitely gonna use a heal. So I think I'm kinda stuck. Use quick attack. Yeah, I can use quick attack to knock me out. Yeah, she's gonna use like a full heal or something. Okay. Well, let's use Veno Shock. Just to make sure. Okay. Pangaro. That's the, the fighting type, that's the panda. <clears throat> We're gonna bring out Decidueye for this one. She might go Dynamax with the Pangaro. Mold Breaker. Breaks the mold. Okay. Right, let's use Pluck and see what happens. Good. Use a work up. Okay. Attack rises. Special attack rises. One more. Alright, so no Dyna for Pangaro. So that's two down. Okay. Sir fetched. Oh, shit. Yeah, we're gonna switch. Um, we're gonna use Celio. I think she's gonna Dynamax or Fetched. What a distinguished gentleman! It looks so distinguished. Okay. We're gonna take a chance. Use Aurora Beam. Freeze! No? See, Leo, you're just not doing it, my dude. Just not doing it. Alright, let's bring out Dragonair. Aquatail. Avoided the attack? Okay, well, fighting's not very good against Dragon. I say that as I get completely walloped. Okay, don't avoid the attack, please. I didn't do anything. Hmm. Squad's not working out. Okay, so I'm down to four. All right, Toxitricity. Spark that bastard. Protect. Ah. Okay, fine. Keep using it. Watch what happens. There we go. Okay. So now we're done to the last one. The most definitely going to use Dynamax on this one. A Dynamax to a champ. Great. All right, well, Toxitricity.
Yeah, that's absolutely happening. Okay. Toxic. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> Fine then, let's just destroy everything. Your skill is worthy of respect and gigantamaxing. Right, my champ can only do that once. So three moves. Enjoy the poison. Yeah, jackass. Use the maximum darkness all you want. I don't care. I'm realizing I have to change my strategy anyway. So I got three left. I'm saving Cinderace and Decidueye for the end. Do blade, you're up. Do da the blade. I want you to use Aerial Ace. The blade hung on. You beautiful pair of swords. Hey, brain loot. Go for the iron head. I'm I'm down to the last one here, so I'm trying to so using toxic was a big part of this. My champ's gonna knock out the blade. Iron head is only effective, so um We're gonna use a hyper potion. I wanna keep the blade alive for one more hit. Yeah, I figured. Because the, the Dynamax Pokemon Brain Loot, um, they only survive three turns. And then they go back to normal, and they can't do it again. So now... Now... Now we're going to bring in Decidueye and end this. My beautiful forest wizard boy. Scary face? I think that's just a speed lower. Speed harshly fell. That's fine. All right. One hit will do this. So we're going to go Dynamax. Maximum Airstream. Like my beautiful owl boy. <laughs> Fantastic. Who's knock off? Oh. Eh, respectable. Knocked off the amulet coin. It ain't gonna be enough. The champ is done. I only had half my team left. <clears throat> I felt the fighting spirit of your Pokemon as you led them in battle. Okay, whatever, lady. Just give me the, the weird, firm, polite handshake. Give me my batch chunk, and I'll be on my way. Facing you gave me all the explanation I needed. Battling against you and your team, I hadn't expected it, but it made my heart dance. Okay, I'm not giving you my number. It's good to be unshakable in the face of battle, but it's good to be moved by battle as well. I'm not giving her my number because I'm 10 years old in this game, so absolutely not. Take the fighting badge. With a firm handshake. Catch Pokemon up to level 40. Oh, I'll have more matches. Leon's going down. Please take his team to remember your victory by. It's gotta be a revenge. Yeah. That's dumb. Tech moves power is doubled if the user has been hurt by the opponent in the same turn. 
Oh goody. The uniform. I don't I don't do the uniforms. I like this game, but some some elements of it I'm not a fan of. Alright, so Bowark. Oh, that's a yamper. Hey! And Sonia. My look looks like my yamper really likes you, huh? Anyway, we've run into into each other at a good time. You know the mural here in Stoneside? It's said to tell the story of the hero of Galar as well. Though what's there today is actually a replica of the ancient art that used to be here. You tend to have surprisingly sharp insights, so I was wondering what you might think when you see the ruins. Well, when there were ruins? Sounds like it came from the direction of the ruins, too. Come along, Amber. Alright, off she goes. And... Cool. Now... Um, let me look at my league card. Pokemon of up to level 60 will listen to this trainer's requests. So, what does that mean for the squad? It means I'm changing things. Uh, everything is getting reviewed now. Because I have... The squad box. <clears throat> so. <clears throat> up to level 60, you say. So anybody in the 50s qualifies. Manic Trick can come back. Blastoise can come back. Venusaur can come back. Charizard can come back. Slash, Fly, Thunder Punch, and Fire Blast. Oh, oh. God. Damn. Earthquake? Yeah, okay. Leech Seed and Toxic? Perfect. Razor Leaf. Uh, oh, Blastoise, I'm kind of feeling. Flash Cannon, Dig, Surf, and Dragon Pulse? Okay. Uh, not sure what Yamask is doing here. Put you over here. Back to the squad box. Um... Gullet, no. Oranguru. Skarmory, no, 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 no. Absol, I could bring back. That'd be a choice. Mario, I could still bring up. The Fighting Steel type. Bone Rush, Metal Sound, Swords Dance, and Power Up Punch. Also got my Talon Flame with uh, Flame Charge, Roost, Overheat, and Fly. Okay, well, let me tell you how this is going to go. Now that I have access to the squad. Yeah, we're retiring Celio. Just ain't doing it. Uh, attack and defense just isn't there. So, uh, Toxitricity also going away. In favor of Manic Trick. And Blastoise. That's two replaced on the squad. Cinderace, Decidueye are good. <clears throat> so what I got? Bite, Overheat, Strength, and Thunder. Flash Cannon, Dig, Surf, and Dragon Pulse. Swift, a Double Kick, Pyroball, and Headbutt. Decidueye is great. Cinderace, I'm kind of mm, waffling on. I could do with a better fighting type. I don't have a fighting type. I've already got someone who can do a fire move. Yeah, Cinderace. Hmm. Dragonair's a long way from evolving to Dragonite. That's for sure. I'm going to replace Cinderace with Talonflame and Dragonair with Lucario. Yeah. This is this is this is a respectable group. Okay. 
Um, yeah, this is July, Blastoise, Talon Flame. Okay, Pulse Swipe, Razor Leaf, Spirit Shackle, and Pluck, Flash Cannon, Dig, Surf, and Dragon Pulse. Flame Charge, Roost, Overheat, and Fly. Bite, Overheat, Strength, and Thunder. I could probably get rid of Overheat for a Manic Trick. Uh, Aerial Ace, Iron Head, Iron Fury Cutter, and Shadow Sneak. Power Punch, Swords, Dance, Metal, Sound, Bone, Rush. The only real thing I'm not really covering is Psychic types here. Which, there's nothing I can do about that. Uh, my real Psychic types are... Locked away. Um, I could bring Mew back out. Mew is level 58. Again, technically... That would be fun. Um, okay. So that's good. Now let's go to the bag. We're gonna give people, we're gonna give them items to hang on to. Other items. Do -do 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 Okay. Let's tag silver powder. Bug type. Who has a bug type move? I think the blade has. Fury cutter. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's give. Silver powder to the blade. Prevent it from evolving. Shed shell. Switch out of battle without fail. Grip claw. Extends bind and wrap. If the holder has full HP, it will endure a potential KO attack. Oh, then it disappears. Uh, I don't like these disappearing ones. That's longer to repel. Oops, the power of physical moves. Special moves? No, 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 no. What's the powder water type moves? Rocky helmet. Hmm. Give Rocky helmet to Lucario. And then metal or steel type? Count shield bell magnet. The magnet to mana trick. Stores low HP every time it inflicts damage on others. And let's give that to Talonflame. Which leaves Blastoise with Mystic Water. Okay. Oh, and one last thing I can do. Okay. Lucario can learn Revenge. Um, no one can learn Vino Shock. Lucario can learn Psychic. That's fascinating as hell. I'm giving that to Lucario. The TR will break. That's fine. What the hell? This is the weirdest thing. Power Up Punch. Swords Dance. Metal Sound. Bone Rush. Oh, these are all awful moves. We'll place, we'll, we will replace Swords Dance with Psychic. I do not understand why Lucario knows this, but Lucario's gonna know this. Leech Life, Ice Beam. Uh, let's take a look. Flash Cannon, a Steel type. Dig, then Surf, then Dragon Pulse. No. I don't want... I don't need Blastoise learning. Nobody can learn Dazzling Gleam. Sleep Talk. Willow Wisp. Retaliate. Whirlpool. Electroweb? Who the hell can learn Electroweb? Magical Leaf. No. Brutal Swing. 
The blade can learn. Whatever you can do, pin missile, scary face. Rock blast, beat him up. Swift. We're gonna give Swift to Lucario. We're gonna replace two to five times in a row. We're gonna replace Bone Rush. Oh wait, no. Metal sound. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And we will save. You know what? I'm still I'm still relatively awake. What's going on up there? I guess I'll go find out for you. Oh, it's this nerd. Destroy it all. We're gonna find those wishing stars. He's sending the elephant to do his dirty work. We gotta bring the chairman more wishing stars if we wanna please him. Paparaja, if you're truly the chairman's Pokemon, then you should feel grateful for this chance to help him find wishing stars. What a jerk. Oh my, you again. So you think that you can start collecting wishing stars now and get the chairman's favor? That's the way things, is it? I see. So you do have some cunning in you. But I won't have it. I won't allow anyone to stand in my way. Absolute weenie is an absolute weenie. Duosion. Psychic type. Stomp him with Spirit Shackle. One shot. Let's make this a recurring theme. <laughs> I already see more than enough to judge you and your team's abilities. Oh, you sweet summer child. You have no flippin' clue what I'm hiding. <clears throat> Hatrim. What is Hatrim? I need to know what Hatrim is. Psychic type Pokemon introduced in Gen 8. Okay. okay. Psychic type, huh? Get his ass, Manic Trick. Coming all the way back from Pokemon Omega Ruby, my manic trick. Bite him. Womp womp. Gotharita. Okay, I think Gotharita is also a psychic type. What's with all these psychic types? Nerd. Uh... Fine. We're just going to use Blastoise. Just because. Just because I can. Ponyta. <laughs> well. I have to win this for the chairman. Do you really think I'll let you keep me from getting everything I want? All psychic types. Let's use flash cannon. All right. 
Right, great. This has to be some kind of mistake. I demand a do-over. No. You may not. But why? How can this be? How could someone like you get in my way? I was the one chosen by the chairman. I was the one who has to defeat the champion. I'm one of the elite, someone who can shoulder the future of the Galar region. Challenger Absolute Weenie. I wondered what you were up to when you asked to borrow Chairman Rose's Kaparaja. I can't believe you tried to use the Chairman's Pokemon to destroy a historical site. Look here, it's just an ancient ruin when the next thousand years are at stake. You stand on the path of a Pokemon simple beam or something, how do you expect to support the Chairman with that sort of thinking? Young Weenie. It pains me to have to say this, but I am truly disappointed. It's true that I am the one who found you back when you were all alone. I saw talent in you. You reminded me a little bit of myself back when I was young. That's why I sent you to a trainer's school to give you a chance at success. But trying to destroy the mural? Part of, part of Galar's history? You show no love toward Galar. You're clearly not a worthy challenger for the gym challenge. We will decide what to do with you later. For now, you will return to Hammerlock. You must be joking, right? You're disqualifying me from the gym challenge? But you're the one who endorsed me. There are a hundred different ways we could sort this out. Why are you choosing the worst possible option? Challenger beat, I'll be taking those wishing stars that you've gathered. <laughs> Nothing of value was lost. <clears throat> ah, Sonia and Grizz too. Terrible shame, all this, and absolute disaster. I never wish to see us lose challengers for this sort of reason. Yet we do what we must do to keep things fair and sportsmanlike. You know, during one of Bede's matches, well, Weenie, I heard the announcer say that Weenie has no family. Apparently it was Rose who took Weenie under his wing, and so Weenie was battling for the chairman's sake. What an awful turn of events. Hope the mural survived all that. In a Ron Howard voice, it didn't. But something cooler showed up. Two dogs. Hmm. Mm hmm. One plus two equals three. Three plus two equals five. Oh my god, I've got it. Not a brilliant turn of events, but the ruins were brought into the light for us to see. What does this tell us about Galar's legends? A sword and shield? Right, more than any hero, there's those things that appear to be Pokemon that stand out. Not just that, but those Pokemon appear to be holding a sword and shield as if they were using them. Anything else look interesting to you? The same as the tapestries? Oh, good observation. There were really two heroes, or really were two heroes, but if that's the case, then why only the one statue with the Badoo drop in? Hmm. Curious indeed. More than any statue of a hero or old tapestry, these ruins made in truly ancient times must show us the real truth, which means both are Pokemon. At some point in history, the sword and shield were combined with the two actual Pokemon and treated as the same thing, but then what? They just faded from history? Two young heroes, the sword and shield, were actually Pokemon. But why would the truth of these ruins be hidden when their stories were depicted in artwork? With your help, I really feel like we've made a big discovery here. Thanks. I'll give you a couple of these, so you keep giving it your best in the gym challenge too, okay? Guess you'll be headed to the... Balonly... Balonly... Next right. Right? Yeah, I use these revives. She's very thoughtful. Okay, so with all that out of the way, next goal is to go through the Glenwood Tangle to reach Balanai. And, um, there's that up there. So here's what I'm going to do, folks. Um, it is late, so I am calling it for the evening. Thank you so much for watching. And, uh, just enjoying so I tend to stream this game every now and then 
probably will do it again tomorrow and go to this next uh, woods area. So, Brain Loot, thank you for the suggestion. Thank you for stopping by and saying hi. So, um, as always, folks, do take care of yourselves and stay hydrated. Get some rest. Watch for deer. And until next time, do take care.